And now I would like to call uh, Professor Pavel Sobchik, uh, Dean of the University of Opole and uh, Vice Director of the Institute of Justice Warsaw uh, in Poland, uh, to deliver his speech, welcoming speech. Venerable ladies, venerable gentlemen, dear professors, dear colleagues, good morning, Jonapot. Did the American law professors Samuel D. Warren and Louis D. Berendis, who defined in 1890 the right to privacy uh, in the Harvard Law Review, would become one of the key rights of the individual in the 20th and 21st century? I don't think so. Did the director of Ferenc Madl Institute of Comparative Law and the director of Institute of Justice in Rose, Warsaw expect that cooperation between these entities would develop so dramatically in so many areas when they signed the cooperation agreement in July 2020 in Warsaw? I don't think so. <laughs> These two events can be considered the foundation of an international scientific conference organized as part of Central European Professor Network, summarizing the work of the, the Right to Privacy team. Why privacy? Because, because the right to privacy is a right that is particularly linked to human dignity. Therefore, in the hierarchy of freedoms and rights of the individual occupies a high place. So, we will therefore debate today the most important things for men, for men from a legal point of view. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Institute of Justice in Warsaw, I have the honor and pleasure to welcome you to an international conference on the issue of the right to privacy. For over two years, the Ferenc Madl Institute of Comparative Law, Hungary, the Central European Academy, University of Miskolc, Hungary, and the Institute of Justice in Warsaw, Poland, have been conducting extremely dynamic scientific cooperation. In addition to Central European Professor Network, there is also include Polish-Hungarian research platform, publishing activities, organization of scientific conference, organization of events, dissemination science, cooperation of young sciences and others. As Deputy Director of uh, Institute of Justice in Warsaw, I have the honor to co-create scientific cooperation between our countries and between sciences from many scientific centers in Central Europe. Thanks to the great passion and commitment of Professor Janusz Edesilagi, Director of the Ferenc Madl Institute of Comparative Law, Professor Timea Barzo, General Director of the Central European Academy of the University of Miskolc, and their collaborators, we can participate in this extremely interesting scientific event today. Thank you very much for your great effort. Thanks to conducting scientific research and prepared papers, we will be able to learn about new aspects and challenges related to the right to the privacy. The names and the achievement of the speakers so far, which we could get to know in Toralia during the conference in Warsaw, June 2022, we can be sure that we will take part in a spectacular scientific event today. Dear speakers, thank you very much for your research. Dear professors, dear colleagues, allow a few sentences about the Institute of Justice in Warsaw, which I mentioned at the beginning of the welcome. Our institute, Institute of Justice in Warsaw, is a state organizational unit subordinate to the Ministry of Justice, conducting scientific and research activities in the field of the creation application, axiology, and social functioning of law. 
as well as the phenomena of crime and social pathology. The Institute was established in 1990. For several years, our Institute has been conducting extremely intensive educational activities of young people as part of the Laboratory of Law Leaders program. We also organize competition of knowledge about the law and the justice system and social communication. The annual event is a competition for the best doctoral and habilitation dissertation in the fields of the legal sciences. The Institute includes a prestigious scientific publishing house and the journal Law in Action. The Institute of Justice in Warsaw is dynamically developing international cooperation, organizing the scientific research within the Polish-Hungarian research platform in cooperation with the Ferenc Madl Institute of Comparative Law in Budapest and Central European Academy, University of Miskolc. This year, we have also started cooperation with scientists from Croatia, Slovenia, Slovakia, and Ukraine. We trust the next year, researchers from Bulgaria, Czech Republic, Georgia, Romania, Serbia, and Slovenia will join our international research platforms. International research cooperation is valuable due to the many legislative initiatives undertaken by the Polish Ministry of Justice. Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, one more time, I would like to thank the organizers for the effort of preparing this event. I would like to thank the speakers for preparing the papers that we will listen to today. I wish you an extremely interesting scientific conference with the hope, with the hope, of further great scientific events organized by the Hungarian Ferenc Madl Institute of Comparative Law, the Central European Academy of the University of Miskolc, and Polish Institute of Justice in 2023. Thank you very much. <laughs>